After years of planning and construction, the newest exhibit at the San Diego Zoo is set to open in just a few weeks. Heather Lake live there this morning with the first sneak peek for all of us. Hi, Heather. Hey, good morning, yeah, so this is really cool. So four different themed areas, two buildings. In the last hour, we took you over to the Cool Critters. Well, we are taking you inside this building. That's a full immersive experience. So when you walk in, it's a little bit warmer. There are like floral smells, and there's this entire dome where you get to see a migration. There's all these really cool insects that are really important to all of us on planet Earth. Paige, you get to kind of take this in, in, us into this experience and help us love insects. Many of us don't, <laughs> and so, you know, we're used to maybe swatting at them and getting rid of them, but you want us to fall in love with insects. So where are we, first of all, and explain to people what this immersive experience is all about. Okay, so we are in the McKinney Family Spineless Marvels exhibit, and this is a really, really big upgrade for insects at the San Diego Zoo. Um, our former spot was about 1,600 square feet, and this is 10,000 square foot. It is meant to address the PR problem that insects have. Yeah. Um, not as cute as a panda, uh, need a little bit of support, so right when you walk in, you're hit by all those smells of a meadow. You can see these beautiful insects migrating overhead. We've got dragonflies, butterflies, um, grasshoppers, yeah. and then we even have a night scene for um, uh, fireflies, which are not migratory, but you can't pass up an opportunity to do fireflies at this night. This room is really cool. It makes me just want to like lay on the ground and start a yoga class or something, and I will tell you, being a boy mama, I have fallen in love with insects a little bit more in my last few years of my life. And so I think this is an opportunity for people to do that too. Let's walk and talk and show the rest of this really cool space. So there's two floors as well, so we can only show you one, but all of these little areas are right now getting worked on to curate a really cool bug that people will get a kind of up close and personal look at. That's right. And all of these, again, are intended to be like these warm, inviting spaces. They're green, they're freshly and lushly planted with real plants. So we want people to kind of wonder what's inside of them. Um, you can, you know, set up at one of the micro station stations and see a little bit closer what insects look like. Um, all of these habitats are going to have some of the smaller species in them. So we've got some praying mantises already in the last three. Cool. Look at the, the microscope is really cool. Yeah. So you can get up close and, and look at them. I'm, I'm like, I want to take a peek. Hold on. Look at those. So is, what is this right here? Do you know what all of them are? Sorry yeah, for asking yeah. you off the cuff. No, it's okay. It's a dragonfly right there. Very cool. Um, and you can rotate that little carousel and, yeah. and look at you know the different things. This is a actually a native beetle. It's a 10 line June beetle. He's got those fabulous antennae that you can really get a close look at. Um, special. Over on the left is what honeycomb actually looks like up close. Everyone oh thinks gosh. it's like these just really simple, yeah. really um, crisp lines, but it's actually kind of messy. Yeah. So This is really cool. Okay, I want to see some of these manises because you told me that there's a couple of, these are our first, uh, you know, this is their, our first critters. This is their new home, right? This so let's home, yeah. take a look. I'm like, does that, I thought it was a part of the, um, the plants, but it's not. Yeah, that's their well, whole program is hiding in plain sight. So these are masters of camouflage. These are ghost mantises. So there's one here, there's one in the back, and there's one over here on the left. And so, again... It's almost like a little scavenger hunt trying to find them. It is. It's absolutely like a Where's Waldo kind of experience. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, let's look over here. I think it's funny. Is there a reason why they're all kind of like hanging out from the top? Well, often they're going to just kind of orient to the highest location. They're, mm -hmm. they're climbing and, there's, and they're kind of seeking out, you know, where the limit is. So, yeah. yeah. Um, one other experience that will take you in, we have to toss it back to the studio for now, but this is going to be where people can actually see live beekeeping and all of the hives. So the honeybees will be moved into here. And I know everyone's like, Heather, when is it all opening to the public? Mark your calendars, March 11th. And so this is actually where they'll be working. These are screens and these screens will be moved up and you'll be able to see the beekeepers in there taking care of the hives as soon as the hives are all moved in. So brand new and on Fox 5, we get to give you the very first look. Sholly Rebel, I'll toss it back to you in the studio. That looks incredible with the bees in the monitor. This you reminds me of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Oh my God, I love yeah. that. I love that. <laughs> so cool. Heather, thank you. Right? Look at that place. <laughs>